Hello, this is Fulbert. I'm going to be showing you a quick way to make about 30,000 bells in 15 minutes in Animal Crossing New Horizons, only catching bugs. So this is going to change a bit on month to month, but I'm going to just explain as I go and try and keep this short and sweet. You want a bunch of flowers in a horizontal path because you're looking to cause bugs to respawn. So you don't want to just go up and down and stay in the same little area and a lot of profitable bugs spawn on flowers. So you can see, I can see across the river, I have a good line of sight, I can see up on that cliff, uh, and I just have a very good path for catching these bugs. Uh, in March, I'm going to go over some of these specific bugs we're looking to catch, uh, and then I'll show you in about 15 minutes, it takes me to fill up 19 slots in my inventory. Uh, so we have the paper butterfly worth 1,000, the peacock butterfly worth 2500 the emperor butterfly worth 4000 that only shows up at night it will not be here in the day the orchard man is worth 2400 and the tiger beetle worth 1500 those are the only bugs i'm focusing on so quickly if we look it's 1224 and i'm starting i have 19 slots open in my inventory and i'm going to fill those up and we'll see how much money i get at the end of the video and again this is cut up obviously I could just make a full 20 minute video, but I don't think that's necessary for the purpose of this. Now, any bugs that are not those bugs, you just run into your scare away. You do not want them to sit there and not despawn because uh, we specifically want those bugs. The common butterfly, yellow but butterfly, I do catch sometimes because I can swap them out with a better bug when I catch it later, but that does degrade your net which can cause it to break, which means you might have to run and uh, upgrade your net. You can see there I caught a peacock butterfly, but I did not see that orchard man mantis that I scared away. Now, you can still catch some other bugs. For example, I will still catch the mantis every once in a while. You can still swap it. The mantis sells for 430 bells, so that's not awful. Uh, <clears throat> it just depends... Basically, if you're getting, for me, if I'm getting bored sometimes, you know, if you go a minute or two not catching a bug, you just want to catch one. But generally, you're going to do the same thing at night, but you're just going to catch the emperor butterfly. So you're still going to make good money. Uh, again, you don't necessarily have to stick to the exact same bugs on the list. Uh, you can say I just got a beetle. And just every month, look at which bugs are worth the most for you. Butterflies are a good one to always focus on because you cannot scare them. If you miss them, it's not a big deal. You're going to be able to catch them again. Um, and most bugs you can just run up on and catch. There are some exceptions. So you can see uh, my inventory is almost full. I'm going to catch one more bug here, which happens to be this tiger beetle. And then I'm going to run back to the nook shop. You can see I have 19 slots of bugs there. I have six of those are even mantises and you know a lot of them are just a thousand dollar paper butterfly but uh, we talked to Timmy and Tommy we sell these bugs and uh, quickly if you didn't see it it had only been 15 minutes it was only 1236 so 15 minutes it took for me to catch all these bugs and I go to sell them here and we get almost 26,000 bells if you if I stayed at that a couple more minutes I could have easily got a couple more thousand bells so that's a tip hopefully it helps you again in other months just check which bugs are profitable but you're doing the same thing you want to despawn the ones you don't want spawn the ones you want so in previous animal crossings a lot of times i always stuck with fishing i felt that it's more profitable in this one right now uh bug catching just seems to be a lot quicker a lot easier so hopefully this video helps you out makes you some bells quicker and you can pay off that house by the stuff you're looking for in the game